sitting outside at the burial grounds of my last year's crap. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna do a, a ritual. Uh, last night I, so I took a tantric tea bath on uh, the last night of 2018. Well, officially it was the morning of January 1st. And my tantric tea baths are highly ritualistic. It's like I'm sitting in a witch's brew of high intentions and flowers and crystals and oils. And I spend a lot of time in the water meditating. And this was a, a New Year's cleansing bath. And um, so I scooped up some of the water in a really powerful Ayurvedic copper tin. Um, and then I gathered all the flowers and the oats and everything after the water drained. And um, last night I buried the dug a hole and, and I buried the dry bits and then I poured the wet bits on top. And now I'm gonna put this, this is my buddy. This is my little boy and my bunny. If you really knew me, you know I love children and I love bunnies. Um, bunnies have been one of my medicine spirit animals for quite some time now. Um, and so I am I feel like it's almost like a headstone, you know what I mean, for last year. I just want um, the little boy and the bunny to take care of it. and watch over last year and this year so it can manifest into what I really, really, really want. And I could visit. And when I feel like I'm still kind of stuck, I could just come here and put it there. So there's some rose water. beautiful you that you are to come. <laughs> and then this is a essential oil that actually my neighbor made for me. I have really great neighbors here. So she, I was sitting on my porch and in the canyon and she just yelled over. She's like, I'm brewing up. I'm cooking up some, um, some medicinal essential oils um, for warding off bad energy and cleansing. Uh, do you want some? And I was like, yeah. And so she put it in my mailbox. It was so sweet. So, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to put some on me. Uh, yes, cleansing, cleansing, letting go. And then for you, little boy, in your bunny. Yeah. Mmm. And in the earth. And then I got some dirt right here from there. And I'm gonna uh rub it in my third eye. I'm gonna take a shower, but I'm a dirty hippie from the dirt right in me. Mmm. 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 Manifesting, letting go, calling in the new, asking the divine to help me see how I need to be in this new year and what my pathway is and what I need to do to do the footwork. You know, there's footwork involved in the magic and in the wild life path. That's that sweet balance of taking part in the dance and letting go and diving in and diving out and you know there's no right or wrong way it's it's a journey and everyone has to find their own way and um, this is my way <laughs> and um, last night after my ritual I went to bed and I made sweet love to myself in such a big beautiful way I spent quite some time pleasuring and loving myself and doing mantra, um, doing sex magic, and I fell asleep 
chanting, I am lovable, 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 I am lovable. And it was really beautiful, you know. I, I love starting my day with ritual and magic and meditation and intentions. And I like closing my day that way. And I do a lot of it throughout the day, too. <laughs> a lot of meditation and intentions and magic. Um, but especially in the morning and especially at night. Like, morning rituals and night rituals. I've always dabbled in them and had them and fallen in and out of them, you know. But I've really been pretty adamant about my morning and night rituals for quite some time now and it feels really good you know especially in the new year I've been very dedicated to my practice and um yeah practice the word practice you know it's not like this thing that you do when it's done it's a practice which means it happens more than once <laughs> it's and for me, it feels really good to do daily practices, um, morning and night practices, and then practices, yogic, tantric meditation, movement practices, creative, artistic practices, witchery practices throughout my days, especially morning and night. It's such a special, sweet time. And I got up early again, and I I really like getting up early. I gotta get back on my normal early waking schedule because I do much better. I really do so much better when I get up between 4 and 7 a.m. That's that's like Candace's like prime time to get up. And um, I was like, shifting and, you know, but I'm gonna set some alarms and try to get back to my regular schedule because that's what feels good to me. Yeah. All right, everyone. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I hope you find the way to show up for you and your life the way that feels best to you, independent of a good opinion of others. It's really hard sometimes to be yourself and do what you want to do for you, irregardless of what others think and societal rules and norms and this morning I definitely was dealing with some feelings of feeling like a bad person or like a rebel you know like I'm a rebel with a cause you know and my cause is truth authenticity love reality I get in trouble when I offend people. And there's a part of me that's okay with it and has created peace over the years with living this highly offensive, rule-breaking lifestyle. Um, but there's still a really sensitive part of me that just hurts so much for all the judgment I get, all the criticism, all the ridicule, all the nasty texts and messages and it's, it's hard, you know. Um, the majority of the feedback is great, you know, but I put myself out there in a really big way, and what comes back isn't always loving and nice. But more opportunities for me to do deep work on myself and learn how to love myself no matter what people think of me. Here comes Alex! <laughs> All right, bye, guys.